Aye, I went out yesterday. Aye. Aye, that's three o'clock now and it's still out. Eh? Hey. Oh, Christ. Well, this watch can't be working then. Well, it's no big problem for God's sake. Aye. My pals are coming up in an hour, aye. Aye, four o'clock, aye. Well, I'm not worried about it. Oh, Christ, right, I'll, I'll need to go now. Right, now don't you be venturing out here, I'll be fine. Oh, the Lake District. Oh, well, that'll be marvellous for you. Right, well, I'll see you when I see you. Give my best to Lindsay. Uh, Blesley. Cheery bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bastard. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, it's you, boys. Oh, Come away, yeah. Come away. Bloody Jesus name, Christ. 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 So you're in, eh? Jesus. I thought you were lying bloody deed there. Yeah. Keep your bloody voice down. The neighbours. Ah, the neighbours don't like you anyhow. Here, I'm needing a fish. Can I use your toilet? <laughs> Bloody typical, eh? How could you not use your own lavvy before you came round, Winston? Too bloody miserable to buy toilet paper, that's how. I'm only needing a piss, I'm not needing a shite. <laughs> Stick your toilet paper up your arse. <sighs> Here, Jack. <clears throat> that was my John on the phone there, you know. Oh, Aye. Right. Worried sick about me, so he is, because that lifts half, you know. It was all I could do to stop him from tearing up here with provisions and all sorts. <laughs> Ugh, your arse. <laughs> hey. Nothing, but you get in that kettle on. My tongue's a bit stuck to the roof of my mouth here, so... Uh... Aye, in a minute, in a minute. There's things we need to work out first, you know. Like what? Well, if that lift's going to stay off, we need to work out what we're going to do. A, a, a plan of sorts. What the hell has that got to do with the lift? Well, do what we always do. Nothing. Here. This toilet's bunged up. <laughs> with what? Toilet paper. I thought you weren't needing a shite, Winston. Ah, uh, well, I wasn't he. It was you going on about it, you know. <laughs> Bloody marvellous, eh? I've never once taken a dump in your house, Winston. Wouldn't he dream of it? Fuck me, he stunk the hall out and all. <laughs> yeah, off his back, at least he's regular. That's a bloody feat at his age. Yeah, I know, I suppose so. Right. Here now, you right. want a wee cup of tea there, Jack, eh? Well, a wee cup right. of tea be lovely, eh? Nice wee orange club with it, eh? Oh, a wee orange club, A right. chocolate. Oh, aye. A wee penguin, oh, eh? Oh, a wee penguin, aye. Aye, well, tough titty. <laughs> it's rich tea or hee-haw. <laughs> Here, Jack. Aye. Are you cold? Aye, you know me, am I cold, aye? Oh, well, I'm bloody chitter and I'm going to put his fire on. Well, here now, Winston, you better know it's a hell of a expense now. Yeah, hey, oh, fuck him, he's got plenty. <laughs> Aye, fuck him, he's got plenty. Put it on. There you are now. Oh, all right. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Aye. Oh, that's a rare heat off that, isn't it? Aye, 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 aye. Yeah, See, so yeah. you need to have the three bars on, don't oh, you? Oh, aye. <laughs> you smell that? Well, what is that smell? That's a stir burning, eh? Stir, is it? Miserable aye? bastard never burn with it. I know that. Yeah. I need the three on, but then uh, you get Are you going to be there all day? Aye, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's us, too. So yourselves down there, boys. Oh. Party time. Oh. That's there. Oh, lovely. Oh, a wee biscuit. Oh, oh, fuck man. me, it's roasting in here. <laughs> remember, uh, was it Mark calling Orson? Mark and Mindy? Oh, thing. I remember that one, my friend. Nanu, Nanu, oh, that's I remember him with the, the <laughs> Nanu. <laughs> There are some. I'm going to try and buy the tape, you know. Nah, yeah, quite late, though. Yeah. Right. Not so bad, eh? You pair of bastards, eh? What? What? You don't find well, what? That bloody fire. You need to do how much that cost to run, eh? Wheel on the meter goes round like a bloody peary. That's a bloody heartbreaker seeing these three bars in it, I tell you that much. Yeah. Eh? It's cold away upstairs and put on another bloody cardigan burning my bloody electric like that. <laughs> I tell you what. I'm bloody starving, me. Uh, I'm starving, I know, so. Aye, mm. right, me and all. Here. What? what are you eating? Nothing. Aye, you are. I seen you putting something in your mouth there. A, a, a big brun thing. What was that? <sighs> Madeira cake. Where oh, you go, you fucking bastard? <laughs> you're sitting here eating rich tea and you're jamming your fucking hole with Madeira cake. <laughs> Give a slice. Can you give a slice? It's done. What do you mean it's done? When did you get it? This morning. Isa from across the land and brought it over, you know. Oh, aye. Right. So does this Isa bring stuff across regular? She's still a good-looking woman, Isa, you oh, know. Oh, aye, aye. No, no, no. I'm just using her, Jack, you know. 
<laughs> All she's good for is a wee bit of cake, and occasionally she goes over that landing with a mop there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I reckon you're slipping her one anyway. <laughs> Get her ass for God's sake. She's 72, hey? Imagine her naked. Tits like manila envelopes and teeth like the Queen Mother. <laughs> she's fucking bald and all. I would give you the dry book so it would. Oh, well, you've got to take what you can get, you know. Well, I can get better than that, I can assure you. Like who? <coughs> Irene. Irene in the fruit shop? Aye, oh aye. 45, there or thereabouts. Not a mark on her either, eh? <laughs> She's divorced and all. Bet she knows her way around this set, eh? Bet she there. fucking does, <laughs> not I could have her. Every time I'm in that fruit shop, she's always slipping me a wee bit extra, you know. There you go, Victor. Apple or a couple of carrots there. If I could just get her alone in this oh, flat... Give yourself peace. An apple and a couple of carrots does not constitute your whole. Guys, <laughs> right, here we go again. Hey, I ain't talking about sex and there's no one he's getting any. All right, well, we'll see. Here, put the news on. Aye, ITN, 330. Put the news on, aye. It's only 2.30. Eh? Eh? Oh. News. It's a pile of shite anyway. It's either the same muggings and slashings and robberies and a nice wee stupid story at the end there. Rubbish. Oh no, I like that. I like the wee stories, you know. I was watching one the other day there, right, and it was, I a cat saved a woman's life. Something about the gas being left on and the cat fetched the polis. <laughs> You see, the programmes are aimed at the likes of you. <laughs> Fucking senile. <laughs> Can't fetch the polis, eh? What do you suppose it said when it got down to the polis station? Help, help, my owner's getting gassed. <laughs> the sort of a sort of a fucking polis would stand there and listen to a fucking cat. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, cat indeed, eh, Jack? <laughs> aye. Now, a dog I could believe, aye. <laughs> You see, dogs are smart, you know. Oh, that's right, aye. Dogs are smart. A dog would just have picked up the fucking phone. <laughs> I'm not coming round here again. You assholes are bringing me down. See, that's the old time in the next block, isn't it? What about him? Well, he talks to his dog, oh, doesn't he? He does, aye, aye. That silly old bastard would talk to luncheon meat. <laughs> and anyway, the dog never listens to him. I was with him the other day, he told it to sit outside the butcher's. See when we come out, it was fucking off. Right. Two hours we searched for that bastard and pot liquor. <laughs> Tam and that dug are well matched, they're a couple of fucking assholes. You're just jealous, you know. Oh, he's problem. crying you're jealous there now, Jack, aye. <laughs> jealous of what? Jealous that he's got a dog for company. Well, I, I am. And I'm stuck up here with you two fucking numpties. <laughs> well, fuck Tam. Fuck his dog. In fact, where the pair of you get to fuck me now? There you are. Hold on a minute here, Jack. This is my bloody house. <laughs> what the hell's the matter with you anyway? Ah, you were a ball head away for your stroke there. <laughs> well, I'm fucking fed up, stuck up here in my toad, waiting on a bloody reaper. What the hell has brought this on? I'll eh? tell you what's brought this on. There's Winston there, get his home help, right? You've got your John. Tom's got that fucking dog. <laughs> What about your Fiona? She's in Canada, for Christ's sake. She's hardly likely to drop in for a cup of tea now, is she? Well, Do you know, it was my birthday on Wednesday there. Not even a card or a phone call or nothing. <coughs> I've got a grand when I've never clapped eyes on, you know. Oh, well, come on now. That's not how it works, you know. I mean, if she doesn't phone you, you've got to phone her, you see. It's, it's a bit like my brother in Nevada. Now, well, if I didn't oh, phone him, you see, again, he would yeah. never phone me. I've well, never done fucking hearing about your brother in Nevada. <laughs> Brothers are different. This is my daughter we're talking about here. Yeah, well, that's Wayne's for you, Jack, you know. Once they grow up, they couldn't get a monkey's for you. What the hell are you on about? You said your John was on the phone there earlier on, worried sick about you, desperate to come up. Aye, uh, well, that's hardly the case, is it? What? I had no intention of coming up, Jack. It was away to the Lake District. I would love to go to the Lake District, you know. Two minutes he was on that phone. Two minutes! That was me, stringing it out and all, pretending to be fucking deaf. <laughs> Here. Come on, now. There's no use you sitting about with your face tripping you, eh? I mean, you've got us and we've got you, and until that lift gets fixed, we're all bloody stuck here, eh? Aye. Yeah. Come on now, eh? 
A wee tin of ham through there. A wee sandwich, cheer ourselves oh, up. A wee sandwich. A wee sandwich. Yeah. I could go a sandwich, eh? Yeah. Fuck me, yeah. that's tea for a lark, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I was going to say to you? Eh? I was going to say, see that woman that comes and does your hel home help for you? Aye. She's a lovely woman, that. Aye. Oh, aye, the home help. Aye, aye. Mind you, that's all finished in a fortnight, you know. Aye, they're taking her off me because my leg's better. Oh, things, that's terrible, eh? Aye, I know, I You get used to it, I know, you know. Aye, aye. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting in the house there sometimes and it's, uh, there's your dinner and uh, all my messages in for the week and my lottery numbers and that. I'm sitting about like a king, you know. <laughs> anyway, that's that hump new, isn't it? Could you know I made out your leg was just as bad as I was? No, no. I tried that, you know, but she caught me nipping into Ladbrokes there on Friday, you know, <laughs> nice as you like. I was on my knees inside the bookies, you know. I'm begging her in front of everybody <laughs> not to tell anybody, you know. And she stuck me in, but... That's it. Aye. Fucking fat cow. <laughs> ah, good riddance there. She was short-changing me anyway, I'm sure. I think so, oh, aye. aye. Here. He's wanting muster. Aye, let's go mental. <laughs> Here, Victor, uh, can we switch on your television set? Aye, fire in there, Jack, but keep the volume down so we can have a gab, eh? Aye. Yeah, here, 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 you know what you're doing with that now. No, I don't. Right, well, you press five and that'll give you three, you see? All right. And then the green one will mute it. Right, take the voices off Aye. there. Right. Oh, there we are, look. Well, here, look at that, look. Yeah. There's John fell out his head cars, isn't it? Um, what's his uh, Windsor Davies? Oh, Frank oh, no, Windsor. Frank Windsor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was uh, Z cars he did in some other cop show, can't he? Mind? Softly, softly. Softly, softly, yes, that's not right. Right. Now look at him, eh? He used to chase about the cities fighting crime. Now he's selling life insurance to the likes of us, eh? <laughs> what a fucking come down. Aye. Aye, <laughs> nah, he's a prick. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, I'm Windsor Davis. Uh, no, oh, no, it's, it's, no, it's um, Frank, Frank Windsor. Windsor. Oh, aye, Frank yeah, yeah. Windsor, I am. Look at me, I'm Frank Windsor. This is what he says. He says, uh, have you ever considered your final expenses? <laughs> well, you should, because for only a few pennies a day, you can leave a big whack of money to your relatives when you die. <laughs> eh? What a fucking bargain that <laughs> is. <laughs> 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 hey, that's no he's like this and all, isn't he? Join now and get this free shitey carriage <laughs> car, eh? <laughs> Help count the minutes till you fucking deed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a fucking dozy bastard, so he is. He must think your heed's button up the back, eh? Uh, right. I tell you one thing, lads. I'm leaving sweet F.A. Oh, come on now, you've got to leave something to bury you. Aye, so you have. They can hardly hit you with a bill, can they? <laughs> I tell you what, they can throw me in a bloody ditch for all I care. Fuck all they final expenses, not at all. Come now, Winston, that's pish. <laughs> Can't you go leaving a, a burden like that, you know? Well, I've no got any insurance, and I've no intention of getting any either. I'll be in my ditch, eh? Happy as you like, up to my oaksters in debt, eh? <laughs> what debt? Eh, off the telly and that, you know, and the light and the gas and, and the phone, aye. Here, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to hammer the 0898 numbers, eh? Oh, somebody else oh, to oh, the <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ, Winston, you'll be a bloody embarrassment. So you aye, know. so I will. Have you ever seen a deed body taking a beamer, eh? <laughs> anyway, the social security buries, you know, there's no such thing as a pauper's grave anymore, isn't there? No? That's right. right. Oh. Are you sitting there, Winston, telling us you've absolutely no insurance at all? Nope. I've got one of those penny policies at the co-op. That'll bury me. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so bloody sure, Jack? We're lucky to get a dozen sausage rolls with that. Are we getting a sausage roll? I could go a sausage right? roll with you, wouldn't I? <laughs> Aye, they penny policies aren't they up to much. You must have something else stayed away, eh? Hey? Ah, I've got a wee bit put by, yes. Ah, well, if I were you, I'd fucking spend it before you die. There you are. <laughs> I've not got much, but it'll see me good. Yeah. Won't you stop? You're sitting in that big pension at the Babcock and Wilcox. You're well sorted. Oh, Don't you give us it. Piece. Here, Jack. I was going to ask you. Are you going in with Jean? Hey. Oh, aye. Oh, aye. I'll be going in with Jean, all right, aye. And her mother and her father, aye. And her brother. I never met him. Mm. <laughs> well, he must have had money, eh, to buy a big lair like that. Aye, aye. The feather was a jeweler, sure. Was he a jeweler? Aye. You going in with Sissy? No. Sissy was cremated, sure. Oh, uh, That's uh, the way I'll go, I know. I tell you, the worm's only getting me, not yeah. at all. Uh, what about you? Well, I'm not so sure, Jack, you know. What do you mean? Well, the layer's awfully full, you know. There's my mother and my father. 
My uncle Bernie, he was killed by a rhino. My father's sister, Sadie. What a fucking nightmare she was. <laughs> Can't believe I'll be in with her. You see, you see, that's the thing, you see, lad. She's not supposed to be in there because she was adopted, you know. There's supposed to be two places, but there's only the one. Which means if our Frank goes before me, I'll fucking no get in. <laughs> Suits me fine, but I don't want to lie next to that witch Sadie. It's better if Frank goes first. If you know what I mean. Suffering fuck, this is morbid, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, it's important to know what happens to you when you die. Right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know I've been to 11 funerals this year? Me and all, Jack. Christ, is it 11 right enough? Ah, uh, it's 11, I counted them, eh? Well, that's because you two are addicted to steak pie. Aye, <laughs> right, well, there was no steak pie at that last one. That was piss poor, no even a wee half. <laughs> Ah, uh, Billy Thompson, eh? Aye. What a rum do that was. Back to the house for a sandwich and a cup of tea. A lot of rubbish it was. <laughs> Listen, he used to. All funerals are rubbish. Billy Thompson didn't he have two bob. What were you expecting? He a, a comedian and a bit of dancing. Here, Winston. What? How come you don't come with us anymore, eh? You know fine well why I don't. <laughs> After that, carry on my big head. <laughs> here, tell us that again. No, I'm not telling come you. Come on now. No, I've told you get the story. The story no, get the story. Get the story. All right, all right. Let me get my tea there. You might get right. tea, right? Well, <clears throat> big Eddie, right? As you know, he's, he's as fat as a barrel, isn't he? You know, I mean, he dies eating, you know. Anyway, they've... Uh, They've got to get a special box made for the size of them, you see. So, so we'll go up to the house there, you know, and pay our final respects and that, you see. But Doreen's lost the plot, right? right? She's not opening the door to anybody, you know. Right. So I've, I've chased all the other mourners back down the stair, you see, and eventually through the letterbox there, I, I coax her into opening up the door, you know. But the heat hit you, you know. I mean, as soon as the door, it was like a bloody oven, so it was, you know. So anyway, we all go in there, you see, and... Uh, the funeral boys, they get a squatch at the body, you see, and they say, uh, well, we're going to have to screw the lid down, you know, you can't let anybody see them like that, you see. So they screw the lid down there, right, and uh, me and uh, Rab Gilmore and Archie Calderwood yeah. and Sammy McDade and wee Ronnie Cairns, right? <laughs> Fuck, you mind a wee Ronnie, right? huh? Him with a mad eye. <laughs> aye, that's right, aye. <laughs> it made me laugh. Well, well we've all shuddered up this box like that, you see, with the funeral boys there, and uh, we're on our way out the house, you know, and... Taking it easy, you know, and, and it's total fucking silence, by the way, you know. And, and I heard wee Ronnie, I think it was, starting to snigger, you know. <laughs> and well, that was it. It broke over the fucking plane, didn't it, you know. I don't know what it was. It might be nerves yeah, or something. Right, yeah, anyway, there's nine of us right carrying this box, and we're all pissing ourselves. <laughs> 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 well, Archie's at the front, right, and he, he's no feeling too clever. He's all shades of green and that. He's, his legs start to go back. <laughs> and he lets go of his end of the coffin, oh. you know, and the funeral boy on the other side, he's not expecting it, you know, so he lets go and on. That's it. The fucking box is off. Hitting <laughs> in the fucking stairs, you know. Thirty odd mourners at the bottom of the clothes, they're all green. They look up and they're fucking thing coming off. You know. Well, the box, you see, the, 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 the box hits the bottom step there, you know, and, and the lid breaks into two right. bits, you see, and Big Eddie... <laughs> <really, laughs> He's fucking good suit on and everything. Oh. <laughs> He's the black as hell of hell's waistcoat, so he was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Your bloody Doreen, eh? Right. I mean, she only had the fire on next to the coffin for three bloody days. <laughs> 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 Didn't they want Eddie getting called, big <laughs> I'll fucking Jolson. <laughs> oh, that was good. I've, I've about fucking choked myself there. Oh, yeah. Have you got any iron brew? No. I'll tell you what, are we going to put that kettle back on? Because. I'll tell you for why, there's a wildlife programme coming on there. I think it's going to be about the Serengeti. I don't want to miss that, you know? Oh, right. I mean, what are you, a cripple away, you and Dave? <laughs> right, use your cup. Right, what do you take? Milk and two. Eight or milk and four. Fuck me. Here. <sighs> I hope this is about cheetahs. I love cheetahs, you know. No, no, no. I hope it's a marine one way. Fish and squid and 
coral and all No, that. no, not at all. Wild cats. That's what you want, the big cats, eh? Oh, I could say the same, Winston. Chasing some poor gazelle and eating it. You've seen it a thousand bloody times. Ah, oh, well, it's better than looking at fish all day, isn't it? Attenborough, he's your man. He no. tells you what's happening, no, no, you know. No, 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 no. Jacques Cousteau's your man. Oh, right. Jacques Cousteau's a daft fucking walloper. <laughs> Couldn't he make out a word he was saying half the time? Hold on there now, Winston. No, no, you hold on, right? Jacques Cousteau, right? Now that Egypt's our age, you know what I mean? And he's cutting about the deep there like he's 25. That's no way for a pensioner to be carrying on. That is out of order. Oh, shut up. Go on in a minute and we'll soon find out, eh? Aye, well, I hope it's marine. Serengeti. Oh, here we are now. Right, here we go. Oh, fuck. Mm, Mon monkeys. <laughs> I fucking hate monkeys, <laughs> right. So do I. All that chattering and running about and all that shite. Right. Fucking brainless bastard, so do I. <laughs> Can I tell you right. something, though? Do you know that a cheetah, right? Your cheetah can go at more than 60 miles an hour. Big deal. Aye, well, it is a big deal. It can go from zero to 60 faster than a car. Pish! <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm well up on cheetahs. I've read books and everything. <laughs> right. Come you with me. Eh? Come you with me, fucking Dictari boy. Come on. <laughs> Where are we going? Then? See the lights down at the cross? Aye. Are you telling me here, Winston, there was a cheetah down there and a Ferrari next to it? The cheetah would beat it to the butchers. Aye, it would. Aye, aye. If it had an incentive. A what? Eh, hey, I don't know. A, a chop or something, you know. A, a wee bit of liver hanging outside the door of the butcher's there. It would clock it and it'd be off. You're fucking demented, man. I'm telling you. You wouldn't get far with a cheetah on your tail. Ferrari or no fucking Ferrari. Aye, well. Cheetah couldn't have me. I'd wring its fucking neck. <laughs> so you would. Oh, yeah, I would, right? Cheetahs are fast, right? I'll give you that, right? But they're skinny wee bastards, you know? <laughs> I'd wait and I'd stand my ground there in the Serengeti. I'd wait till it comes across at me like that. Wait till it leaps up at me. I'd stick my arm down its throat and pull its fucking lungs out. Hey! <laughs> There's your fucking cheetah for you. <laughs> You're off your fucking nut, you. Oh. Did you hear me, eh? Hey? Tarzan or something, eh? Hey? Wait until it comes in pulling its fucking. <laughs> Yeah, then. Hey, yeah, settle down, mate. I've got a fucking heart attack on my floor here. What's the matter with you, Winston? Fuck's all the racket about. Oh, you missed yourself. Tarzan here's just ripped the lungs out of Cheetah. <laughs> what, the monkey? <laughs> Sit yourself down there, Jack. Yeah, I was just thinking there, how are we going to know when that lift goes back on, eh? Somebody will come up and tell us. Who'll come up and tell us? Well. The council, them that are fixing the lift. Well, that means they'd need to go round everybody's door. I don't think they'll go to the bother of doing that. Maybe they'll phone us. Ugh, oh, you could be lying up here dead before they'd phone the likes of us. No, no, no. Can't you just leave you lying up here, Jack? Oh, well, it's a puzzler, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, I'm going to phone somebody. Well, that's what to do. Phone the council. They'll still be open, do you see? No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's what we'll do, right? I'll go out onto the land in there, right? And I'll... Press the button for the lift, you see? And if it comes up, it's working. <laughs> and if it does not, it's no, you fucking pair of bammy bastards. <laughs> what are we going to do? I'm going to phone... Here, if you're going to phone somebody, we ain't phone the fucking loony bin. <laughs> pair of old woman, so you are. Here, Jack. Uh? Now look at the amount of garbage outside that chinkies, eh? See, that's a bloody disgrace. See, the council should be taking that away. Ah, uh, no. Uh, see, I always reckon some of the kiddies for around about here could get in amongst that garbage, you know, and get aye. poisoned, you know, that, get that mad beef thing. You know? Aye, aye. <laughs> or E. coli. That's the other aye. one. Aye. <laughs> Christ, the Wayne's room here, eh? You couldn't have poisoned him with strychnine. <laughs> They're immune, that lot. <laughs> Fucking mutants. <laughs> You see that mob down there playing the football, right? Well, that's the same mob that make all the noise at night, drinking the, 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 the hooch and all them other cocoa pops. It's 
smashing him up in bloody was. Mm. Do you know the thing is? They're there every bloody day, they wins, you know. Oh, know. And never once does anybody for the school board come round and chase them away. They're a bunch of wee wasters, so Aye. they are. I'd love to go down there and shake their bastards by the neck, you know. Aye. Fuck me, they're built. Eh, Jack? Mm -hmm. There's one down there. Thirteen he is. Looks like a fucking farmer. He's got horns like Belfast hams. <laughs> Couldn't he say fuck all to him because he'd stiffen you? <laughs> you know the eyes are only come out if they're cutting about, you know. I know. I, know. I was coming across there about a fortnight ago, mm. right? I had two big bags of messages with me, you know. And one of them rattled a ball right off the back of my head, you know. Well, I turned around and I says, Here you, you fucking cunt! I'll rip your bastard and jaw off of you, you wee fucker! You want to hear the mouth for you, God? You <laughs> bastards, eh? Right. But one of the wings said that to you, eh? Hey? Who the fuck are you shoving about? Who the fuck are you doing? Here! Oh, Jesus Christ. Here, you! Aye! Aye! You think he's in a bunch oh, of fuck fucking hard men, eh? You're undoing well here, by the way. I tell you what to do, right? I tell you what to do. Come up here, oh. and I'll put every oh, one of your sake. fucking asses for you! Aye! Come on here! Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Fucking sorted then, eh? Come out the way. Fuck, sir. It's a man with you, Winston. Oh, Jesus Christ almighty. There's a big fucking squad of them coming out of the block. Jesus Christ! We're looking up at our window! Yeah, uh, your window. Oh, <laughs> fucking charming. You sit here and drink my tea all day, oh, every day. Oh, and then calm down, sake. look at the state he's in. The lift doesn't he work and remember. Oh, oh aye, aye. Ah! Oh, you bastard! Hey! Oh, hey! Right, hey! Come with me, Jack. Aye, fucking watch me. <laughs> What's the matter with you, you gormless bastard? You got a death wish or something? Oh, get a grip of yourself. Mm. They're not going to walk up 19 bloody mm. flights, are they? Yeah, uh, probably eyes or something. Aye. That was eyes, see? Oh, right, right. The lift's back on. <laughs> 40 minutes. 40 minutes hiding in a fucking bin room. I uh, haven't listened to them pushing on my fucking door, man. Aye. All down to you, Winston. Aye. Aye well, they're away now. Get a rest, gone. Here. I'm going to put that kettle back on. Oh, aye. Give me a cup of tea. I'm sick of tea. It's a half I'm needing. Oh, a wee half. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Aye, aye well, you've had it. There's no drink in the house. Tight arse. Well, I know. Why don't we get a carry out? We'll do that. Aye. I'm no drinking in the middle of the afternoon, Jack. Fuck, look, it's half past five in the day. A wee half will do you need harm. Yeah, a wee half. Aye. Aye, okay, but who's going to go? <laughs> eh? Oh, no, I, I can't go. My leg's louping, oh, you know. <laughs> Here, why don't we all go to the clans, mate? Oh, yeah. I'm not giving the bastards two pounds a pint. There's better <laughs> things I could do with my money than hand it over to that shower, I can assure you. Aye, uh, oh, yeah. he's right enough. Victor's right. Yeah. I shout a robbing bastards at the clansmen. Right, fuck it then. We'll sit here and rot. <laughs> you know, I know what to do. Why don't we get some drinking straws, right? Mm -hmm. And we'll cut a short one, right? And whoever draws the short drinking straw has to go to the off oh, license. I've right? no straws, Jack. Fuck me, no drink no straws, eh? <laughs> you any playing cards? Right, there should be some in the radiogram there. Dig them right? out there, right? I will, right. What I'll tell you what we'll do here. Your own misses. No, listen, we'll, like, we'll have a wee, uh, a wee game of a gin rummy. Oh, right? Right. And whoever no, loses, we will not. You, see, then you give the go. cards to me, right? Eh? Lowest card goes, eh? <coughs> well, one card wins. Aye, <coughs> aye, simple as that. Right, come on, Jack. Right, all right, I'll take one for you. For you right, right, okay. Right, a joker, what does that mean? Aye, up, up, any down, cards you want, a two or the ten. Well, you give that to me. You're supposed to take them out. Oh, right, right. Right, come on, try again. Right, okay. Lovely. 
Fuck it, three, I'll get my bun. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, yeah, <laughs> yeah, three shut up. Oh, yeah. Say hello to Irene for us, eh, Jack? <laughs> hey, come on now, Victor. It's your turn, eh? Oh, I love a wee game of cards, me. Aye. Cool hand, Vic, they used to cry me, you know. Right, aye. Right. Oh, aye. I'll tell you something here, Winston. My grandfather, you know, used to work on that Mississippi River. Fuck me, too. <laughs> He's not <like> too. <laughs> Two, I fucking you're fucking two, two are you? Oh, 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 you've been eating that. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, right? Right, uh, it's my turn, isn't it, gentlemen? Although it's academic now, yeah, really, yeah. you see. Well, at least I'll not go alone, eh? Look at, oh, fuck me. Uh, Ace, yeah. get it right <laughs> up ye. Aces are low, aren't, aren't they, they, fuck? <laughs> <laughs> On your way. We'll watch you for the wind, eh? Uh. Charming, eh? My house. I've got to go for the carry out. Right, what are you after? Oh, well, that's easy. Grant's seven ninety nine a bottle. No, oh, not at all. That's gut rot. For another two pound, you can get a smashing bottle of Bells, and for two pound more, yeah, you can yeah. get yeah. Start in of cash. Money bags. Jeez, oh. Every penny's a prisoner we used to, isn't it? Right. Mm. Come on, there, lads. Get your money out there. Money. Right. 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 No, 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 it's, uh, it's only £7 there, lads. Ah, well, look, aye? I've put in two eighty there. Aye, that's my £3 coins there, aye. aye. Hey, come on, Victor, you only put in one twenty. I have a fuck, Winston, I put in £3. Don't pounds. fucking start, get your money in. <laughs> tight, lad. Get six cans and all. Oh, six hey, cans. Six don't cans and all, eh? I need to go and look at my coat for that kind of money. Can I tap you this week? You're all bloody weak at this Here, here. Take that. I'll no eat this week. <laughs> Result, indeed, aye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Rants and six cans, I'll see you after. Aye. Cheers for that, Winston, thanks Cheers, very much. Cheers, fuck all, you owe me 30 bob, right? <laughs> Here, Jack, get that fire on. Yeah, just try it, you pair of bastards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to take the cups and I'll get the... Uh, I'll get the tumblers out for the swally, I think. Aye, all right. Aye. I'll tell you what, but Winston. What? He keeps this place nice, doesn't he, eh? Oh, aye. Well, it's tidy enough, you know. Aye. Well, not be the first time I've caught him in here with the dust on nice on, you know, running around the place, eh? You see, that's a lovely radiogram there. Have you seen that? Aye, that? Aye. aye that's solid teak, that. Is it? Aye. Where did they get it from? Mother-in-law bought it for him years ago as an anniversary present, you know? Anniversary, yeah. Well, here, maybe that's worth something now, eh? Do you think so? Aye. I think she paid a lot of money for it at the time. Aye. Can't you think now? Oh, I do remember, aye. 18 guineas she paid for it. 18, aye. aye. Mind you, mind you, it was second hand at the time, you know? Second hand, it'll be worth fuck all then. Ah, it'll be worth fuck all. <laughs> mind you, it's not as if he's needing it, eh? Buggers mint it. Christ, aye. Just fly as a bag of monkeys at you and trying to make out he's pratted all the time. Aye, aye. Do you mind old Danny? I do, yes. Ah, well, Danny's up in Newton Merns now. Aye. Oh, he's got a lovely house, aye. Buys a new rover whenever he needs one, goes mm -hmm. to Florida twice a year. Aye. Good. Oh, he's got to survive Woods of Babcock and Wilcox pension, aye. Aye. Aye, but Danny isn't as fond of the whores the way that Victor is, you know? <laughs> aye, that's right. <me>. Hey! <laughs> I can wind you up, innit? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Victor with a whore, eh? <laughs> he didn't know what he did with the whore he was married to. <laughs> Here's you. What? Betty wasn't he a whore. How come we ain't give you so peace, Winston? Every time she'd a drink now, she was all over me like a fucking rash. It's that man's wife you're talking about. I know fine who I'm talking about. There were one new year, right? She had me locked in the kitchen, told me she loved me. I could have had her any time I wanted her. You cut that out. What? If Victor heard you that, he'd punch a fucking lamp suit. Who, Victor? Aye. That big streak of pish. Hey, that box in the fucking Western Districts, I'll have, you know. I'd be in amongst them like a fucking whippet. <laughs> yeah. Bang, bang, he'd be down like a fucking sack of totties. There you are. Oh, aye. You see that there? That's six months in the fucking hospital, that. You see that there? Sudden death. Hey, oh, yes. As I'm big as he is, I'd fucking give him it. I'll just give him a... What the fuck was that? 
I'll fucking spout that ashtray. He'll go off his nut when he sees that, won't he? <laughs> Hark at you, you coward. What? The Western Districts, be Christ. They need a shoe got to a boxer who's been time let you clap his dug. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne, make yourself useful. Go and get the hoover. Cassius. There's a carpet sweeper here. No, bring the hoover, you were told. The hoover? All right, man. Oh, fuck. There's a everywhere. Oh, fuck's the story with this? What are you doing with that? I'm oh, sorry, it's got wheels on it. There you are. Hey, get that plugged in there. Right. Let's get oh. this thing going, eh? There you are. That's it. Hey, you need, need to pick up the doubts. Yeah, this thing isn't lifting. I'm saying you need to pick up all the... That's what I'm pick saying. The, it's not lifting. Pick the doubts up there, eh? I'm saying it's not, eh? Eh? Get that fucking plug out! <laughs> you shout about. Miserable old bastard, eh? Won't even buy a sell a decent hoover. This thing's half the arc, isn't it? Uh, maybe the belts come flying off it, eh? No, no, it's not the belt. Look, the brush is still going round. Well, open a bag and the fucking bag out of it. A bag will be full. Yeah, it's chock a block. Is it? Aye. He hasn't emptied it since he bought it. Hey, well, open it up and we'll get stewed up. It's been the 40s, eh? <laughs> <laughs> pull it, pull it. Oh. Oh, 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 why don't we count one bundle, right? Aye. And that'll give us an idea of how much he's got. Do you want to do that? I won't do that. Right. Right. Well, hold on. One, two, three, seven, one there. eight, two, eight, three. Ten, that's fifty pounds. Right. Many bundles? Six. That one you've got your own makes it seven. Right. Seven by fifty. Seven by fifty. It's three hundred and fifty pounds, isn't it? Is it £350? Uh, That's no bad, isn't it, no? That's a good wee bit to have, aye. Uh, nest egg for him anyway, nest. eh? I'd better put it by, eh? Yeah? Aye, we'll, uh, we'll put it back and we'll not say anything. It's, here, it's his business, really, you know. These, these are £20 notes. Tw uh, they're yeah. all 20s, look. That's a £1,000 there. What, just there? Aye. So that's seven grand. A fucking bastard! <laughs> what are we going to do? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. What? We're going to get that fire on for a fucking start. Ah, <laughs> don't fucking make me, will you? Yeah, aye. Get the fucking, fucking three bars aye, on. Aye, you right? may as well, eh? The three fucking bars bastard. on right enough, eh? Yeah. Don't you fucking make me. Here you! Oh! Hey. What are you fucking doing there? I'm peeling a 20 off that bundle. What for? Because it's fucking mine, that's why. Miserable bastard tapped me three weeks back. Lend me a 20 to next week, eh? He's hoover on no lift because it's choked fucking full of this stuff. Well, if he owes you it, give me that and I'll put it by. Listen, see when he goes back in. Don't crack a light. We'll catch him out, all right? I bloody believe that. <clears throat> fucking bastard. <laughs> Yeah. Fly as a bag of monkeys, that bastard. Fuck me, you tapped 20 pound on all, eh? Look at that. What? That fucking telly, it's a heap of shite. <laughs> Black and white. He's enough money there to buy a bloody picture, all in all. That's uh, me, back. Right. I'm going to knock him out. Yeah! <laughs> I fucking tell you, keep it fucking zip, will you? Oh, hi, Victor. How you doing? How'd you get on? Oh! Freezing out there, Jack, you know. Was it really, aye? Aye. Well, maybe you want to buy yourself a nice new coat, then, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Used to sniggering about, eh? <laughs> you pair of bastards. That fire! Are you worried about the bill, aye? I am! Aye. Aye, I forgot about that, eh? You'll not be able to pay your bill, eh? And there you'll be, a penniless old pensioner sitting up here in the dark, dying with hypothermia because you've no electricity. Aye, because we've been burning your precious fucking fire. As are you two? You want a drink or no? Aye, well, we've paid for it, so get it fucking out. Well, there it is, there. Oh. Aye. It's a good coffee table lying down there. Somebody's papped out. Aye, it was good. Good mind to lift it, you know. It's 
Somebody smashed the window in the licensed grocers again. No oh, fact. Hey, it's getting like a war zone out there. I'm telling you. There'll be security guards around here next. Well, that scheme over the way, you know. You mark my words. No wonder that lift was out of order. There's a cunt in there with a motorbike when I came up, you know. <laughs> That's them for the third floor. Fucking gypsies without a caravan. <laughs> Ropey bastards. I'm telling you, they want to drop a canister on this whole area and start again. It's the only way forward. Aye. Uh, he dropped an ash tree when you were out. Oh, fuck's sake. Did you clean it up? Aye. Use a sweeper? No. <laughs> it was the hoover. Wasn't he lifting, but... Wasn't he lifting? No. I think the bag was full. <laughs> I'll need to change the bag on the hoover, I've been... Meaning to do that for some time now. Oh, no worries now, don't you worry about it. We've done it for you, it's all right. <laughs> done what? Eh? Oh, well, we didn't want to date in here, you know, with the, the stew and all that. So? So what? So what did you fucking do? What's the fucking matter with you? We took the bag out and we threw it in the chute. It's so, away, hey, you've no worries. <laughs> What's the matter with you, Victor? <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Oh, Away you and rake through the totty peelings and all shite for your fucking seven grand, Victor. <laughs> what? It's still in there, you deceitful old bastard, eh? Coming across Pratt and you've got fucking seven grand in a hoover. <laughs> no bloody right looking through that hoover bag. Fucking thing was full. What do you expect us to do anyway? Yeah, are your cushions stuffed with fivers and all? <laughs> That's right. We could be sitting here on top of Fort Knox, not know a fucking thing about Aye. it. <laughs> no bloody right looking through that Hoover bag. Oh, listen to that rat, eh? You cutting about here with your arse hanging out your trousers, and you have enough money there to be farting through silk. <laughs> and you've got us two touring through our pockets for the price of a fucking swallow, you miserable Aye, bastard. Aye, that, eh? Hey, Put in one fucking, fucking twenty. And and oh, shut up! You turned it down the chute when you had the chance. Best place for it. What are you on about? That money. I've no use for it. It's a, it's a burden. What do you mean you've no use for it? It's a hell of a lot of money to be sitting there doing nothing. Well, you should have a thing like that in the bank. Where's it fee? Betty's insurance money. She gave it to me when she died, you know. It's no right, that. What do you mean it's no right? Well, just giving you the money, like saying, there you are, there's your wife, dear, there's your cash on your way. I think you're looking at that the wrong way, Victor. I'm not wanting that money, Jack. I'd rather have my Betty back, you know. That money doesn't make you feel any better, you know. I mean, if I sp spent that, that would be it. What would be it? Well, Betty away and the money away and... I know it's daft. How long's it been in there? Seven years. I had it in the bank, you know, but... Well... I didn't like the look of the cunt behind the counter, so... <laughs> Took it out and put it in the hoover. You know. What about all that interest you're losing? I told you, Jack, I'm no interested. Well, why, why don't you buy yourself one of them big flashy coloured televisions with all the fancies I'm on needing it? needing a new telly. There's nothing wrong with that telly. There's nothing I'm needing. Aye, but... 
But see, when you die, though, Victor, right, and, and you've no family to sort out your stuff, they get these uh, general dealers into your house and they do it for you, you know. Uh, house clearance, it's uh, called, you house know. House clearance, that's right. So no offence here, but, you know, what I'm trying to say is, unless it's antiques you've got, most of your stuff ends up in second-hand places, you know, the bars and junk shops, that kind of thing, you know. No, and what about it? Well, anybody can buy your stuff, can't they? So? So in a couple of years' time, right? In a couple of years' time, somebody's going to be down the bars there, eh? Somebody like, eh, somebody like that jippo cunt that you were talking about, right? <laughs> and he, he'll get his eye on your hoover, you see? And he, he'll, he'll, he'll be like that, eh? eh much you wanting for a hoover, you know? And seven pounds comes back. Belong to some old deed guy, you know? I, I, that doesn't bother me, but, eh, because I'm a fucking fly cunt. <laughs> um, am I looking for a bargain, you know? Because cause I'm a fucking jippo, like, you know? He, he gets the thing up the road there and he's hoovering away, you see, and he's, eh, uh, oh ho, this thing isn't lifting. Better change the bag, says he, eh? Bingo. The best fucking buy he's ever made. A seven grand hoover for seven quid. And that fat, smelly bastard's doing there sitting in all your money. How'd you like them apples, eh? That fucking big greasy bastard's not got nothing of mine. Uh, uh, I'm going to leave a note. <laughs> I've always hated that fat bastard. Uh, aye, him and his skinny wee wife, aye. Her with the one tooth at the front, she's like fucking plug out the beano. <laughs> I would love to go down the stairs and take that bastard. Aye. You know, hey. That last tooth right out his wife's fucking oh, head. Right. Aye, give her Aye. a fucking two of them. Fuck me, look at you two, eh? Up boxing, that's oh. fucking. <laughs> Are you fucking winding us up? No, I, I'm no winding you up. I'm no. I'm, I, I'm just saying it could happen, you know. That's why you should get the money in the bank, Victor. Aye. Aye, I'll attend to it on Monday. Listen, eh. Uh, you know, I, I took that out of one of the bundles, eh? Uh, just, just get back to me next week, eh? No, you hang on to that, Winston. That's us quits. No, 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 no. That'll be you doing your last 6,985. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> Kill you and that, you're a fuck all <laughs> 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 no, You're right enough, Jack. <laughs> ah, it's no. funny that uh, you're talking there, you know. It, it kind of reminded me of the time my, my boy Brian died in a car accident, you know. Me and Sissy got a big insurance payout. You see? Because it was the other driver's fault, you know? Eleven and a half grand we got. Hey, Eleven and a half grand? Aye. What year was that? 1967, should you not remember? Oh, aye. Aye, that was a bloody tragedy once. It was heartbreaking. Aye, that's right. That was a terrible thing. Jesus, 1967. Eleven and a half grand must have been an absolute fortune, and I don't remember you having that kind of money. Oh, aye. A lot of money, aye. I mean, we looked at a house and everything, you know, and... And Bishop Briggs it was, you know, a wee garden there and all that. Nine thousand pounds all they were wanting for it. Jesus, Winston, how'd you know buy it? Oh. Oh, it was sissy, you know. She didn't want to move Brian's room and all that sort of thing, you know. Anyway, Bishop Briggs, eh? Fucking Spam Valley. Aye. <laughs> what would I be doing in it now, eh? I'd be rattling about in it in my Todd. That's what I'd be doing. <laughs> so what happened to the money? You see, that's the thing, you see. I mean, if it had been like 11 grand on the button, I would have just have sat on it, you know, but it was £11,463. That's an odd figure to arrive at, isn't aye, it? Aye, it is, aye, aye. So? Hey, oh, aye. So, I took £63 out, right, and I got her a lovely new coat. I remember it well, it was a black astrakhan, you know, it was out the poly, it was lovely. It had this sort of red lining on the inside, you know, and I tell you, the buttons on this thing were the most intricate things, I think. Get I've to ever the fucking point, the... you transvestite. Oh. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Going on about the fucking coat, did you try it on? Fucking buttons and all you that. The wee button and the lining. <laughs> Sick there. I'm getting to the fucking point. <laughs> the point is that it was an odd number that started me off dibbling into the money, you see. Twelve pound out here and 14, for a long time there, I was in and out the bookies like a fucking yo-yo. Winning fuck all into the bargain by the you know. The bookies' face used to light up every time he saw me coming into the shop. Here, do you remember him? Kelly, the bookie. Oh, aye, Kelly. Oh, aye, I mean to him, all right. 
Somebody shot him, you know. Nah, that's right, yeah. Aye. Right in the fucking head. <laughs> yeah, they shut that shop for a fortnight, as I recall. Aye. So what happened? Hey, oh, I just went down to the high street, put my bets on. <laughs> <the road. laughs> no, the fucking money. Aye, Jesus Christ, Winston. Couldn't you have rattled it all at the bookies, surely? Aye, well, I did, aye. Just about anyway, you know. So how much have you left? It, well, last time I looked, there was a uh, £4,000 there, you know. But that, you know, money's for spending. That's my motto. That yeah. money's going to get me to Nevada. Oh, fuck me, Nevada. Here we go again, hey. <laughs> anyway, you, sitting there nosy-assing into my financial affairs, how much have you got? I've got 2,500. I stick a wee bit away whenever I can. That's how I work it, you know. Jeez, oh. This is a fine how to do this, eh? Us sitting here, bored out with tits, <laughs> sitting on a fucking fortune, one and all. Mm. I've always fancied one of the doubly televisions. Right. <laughs> See, with your, with your doubly sound, right? <laughs> it comes round oh, the whole living room, round the back of you, know that. Right. Right. You get a fright if you're not careful. Right. <laughs> But, you see, I went into the step out and he showed me, he gave me a demonstration. It was like sitting in the middle of a spaceship. It was aye. fucking marvellous. How much was it for that? £750. £750. Oh, Jack, <laughs> get a bloody motor for that. A motor? Aye. The fuck would I do with a motor nowadays? Oh, no, it's years since I drove. No, no, I wouldn't want a car. Now. Christ, I mind that. What was it you had now? It was a... Oh, yeah, Austin man. Cambridge. Austin Cambridge, aye. Morris Oxford. Morris Oxford. Morris Oxford. <laughs> Ah, uh, it was a good car, that, wasn't it, aye? Two-tone green. Aye. Used to take it with me to the dancing, aye? Oh. <laughs> See, once the birds found out you'd a car, that was your way, aye? <laughs> Christ, I used to love the dancing, eh? Aye. Aye. Mine, we used to sneak a wee quarter bottle in with us, eh? When the lads on the door got wide for it. Aye. Used to get to the lasses to take in for us. <laughs> you ever mind a yarn hall in Fordnook Street? The dance floor. Aye. Aye. Oh, right, well, aye. here's a thing. I got the crabs four times one summer. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> hey, Victor. Victor. How many countries have you had? No. Hey. How many countries have you shagged? Right. What are you on about, Winston? Uh, we used to do this in the army. How many foreign birds have you shagged? Oh, Christ, that takes me back. He's a wee minute now. What the fuck? What you want in a map? <laughs> <clears throat> right. Do, do home countries count? Oh. Right. Right. Uh, Scotland, England, Ireland, aye. That, that's just for starters. Well, what about Wales? No, I never made it to Wales. Belgium. I've had Wales. Oh, shut Wales. up. It's not your turn. <laughs> France. France, right. Uh, Switzerland, aye. On a train, marvellous. <laughs> Norway. Is that you? Aye, that's me. Right, hold on, my turn. <coughs> uh, Scotland, England, Ireland, Wales. <laughs> um, Calais. <laughs> in France, I believe. Uh, Germany. And Italy. Seven. How many did you have? Seven, same. Fuck me, a draw. <laughs> well, here. Jack's still to go, Winston. Oh, I can wait to fuck the pair of you. I will am declare myself the winner. Italy's further away than Switzerland. <laughs> Yourself, please. Ah, well, if it's distance, Canada. Eh? Canada? That's right, mm hmm. You've only been to Canada once, Jack. That's right, Victor. It was only about eight or nine years ago. Eh? Right. <laughs> when you shagged somebody. <laughs> Aye, all right. Party's over, Canada. Jesus I've won. Jesus right. Christ, Jack. You kept this bloody quiet. This was, this was after Jean died. Of course. Canada, all right. <laughs> what happened there? Never mind eh? what fucking happened. <laughs> Canada, I've won, all right. That's it, Canada. Oh, well, I. 
Oh. Canada? Mm. That's, that's humped right enough, Victor. Oh, I Winston Hall. Oh, Canada's miles away, you know. Oh, I'd love to Rocky go to Canada. Rocky Mountains. Yeah. You know. Beautiful place. Mounties. Get your hole in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Whale watching. Oh, aye, aye. Oh, oh and Vancouver it. Island. Let's not oh, forget aye, that. Aye, that'd be lovely. Oh, for fuck's sake, all Come right. on now. Oh, <laughs> story tell here, Jack. You're amongst friends now. Right. Yeah, we drop there, boy. Well, her name was Charlotte. You remember after Jean died? Mm. You remember the state I was in? Well, Fiona phoned me for Canada and she said, Look, Dan, she said, Look, why don't you come over and have yourself a wee break, take your mind off it? And that. Then I begin for you. Cheers. Well, as you know, I went. You know, I went. I'll tell you, you want a wee top up? No, I'm all right, I'm fine. Well, I'll tell you, that was the best thing she ever done when she married that boy, Tony. Right, see, when I got out there, he was building an extension on the house, never from I. Just married a right good fella there. Anyway, they downed, the, they downed tools as soon as I arrived, you know. They took me to see the Rocky Mountains, aye, and Vancouver Island and all that, aye. It was, it was smashing, aye. But uh, that's not the big thing. The big thing's on a Sunday, it's what they call a BBQ, you know. It's like, um, <laughs> it's like a big fry up in the garden, you know. <laughs> anyway, that, that's where I came across this, uh, this Charlotte. They invite all the neighbours round, you know. So up she comes and uh, she's, a, she's a looker, you know, good looking woman, running about ages with myself, you know, and very, very, you know, talkative and that. And she come up and she's yakking away and I'd no longer arrived. I didn't say much there, you know, I just left it at that. Never spoke to her. But anyway, the next, next couple of days passed and I was up getting a paper out of the wee shop, you see, and I bump into her again and she says to me, uh, she's at it again, yak, 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 you know. But no pushy, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. She was, no, you know, really nice with it. And she invited him in for some tea and that into her garden. So I went into the garden where I had a wee chat, lovely. And well, on and after that, uh, I'd either be up at her house or she'd be down at her Fiona's, you know, having tea, 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 tea. And uh, so it was on one of these days, it was suiting me because it was keeping me fed underneath Fiona. She's got the wee and running about, you see. So it was one of these days and she said to me, um, look, Jack, she says, um, why don't you come away uh, for the day with me, you know, have a wee day out? I went, how do you mean? She said, well, we'll jump the bus and we'll just please ourselves kind of thing, you know. So I said, well, Aye, okay. So that was us had made a date. Uh, well, they went ahead of my Fiona. You know, my dad's gone on a date. So he's all excited about it. And uh, well, she dragged me into the town, uh, made me get my hair cut, bought me a shirt and all that, you know. Out of Marks and Spencers. I've got that over there, you know. Mm, I've heard uh, that, eh? It's a lot fucking cheaper as well. <laughs> well that was. But anyway, uh, off we went. Well, honest to God, what a day we had, right? We just laughed all day. We went to wee gift shops, wee antique shops and all that. She took me around. She knew the place, you know. Oh, it was great, you know. We were like bloody teenagers, so we were, you know. We've, we went the whole day, we never, we never thought to buy and to eat or anything, we were starving. And hey, we went to this week in a hotel affair, you know, and we went in to get our dinner. Here, but it's late and all that. So she says to me, look, Jack, why don't we just stay the night here? She says, and we'll go back in the morning. And I said, oh, I better phone my Fiona, you know. I wasn't, hey, don't get me wrong, I wasn't worried about uh, what Fiona would say, you know, I phoned her. Anyway, and she said, look, Dad, I don't even know why you bother phoning me. You know, I wasn't expecting you back anyway. Just do your own thing. So that was that, you know. I was, uh, booked a room and uh, we slept together. I mean, she just, uh, she just opened her arms and I just went to it. It was the most natural thing in the world, you know. And that was it. I mean, <clears throat> we were lying in the bed a wee bit later and she, she, she went into her person and brought out this uh, photograph of her husband, you know. He died years before and... Uh, he was in the RAF, a fine, fine looking fella. And so I went, I went into my wallet, you know how I keep that photograph of Jean in there? And I showed him uh, my photograph of Jean, you know? And she looked at that, and uh, do you know what she said? Do you know what she said, Victor? She said, uh, she said, my God, she says, you married a beautiful woman. That's what she said to me. Anyway, uh, oh, a fortnight later, that was me coming home, you know? I could have stayed because well, we talked about it often enough. It was 50-50 for a wee while there. Anyway, I'm standing in the airport waiting to come home and uh, Charlotte never came to the airport. She never, never uh, bothered to come. I took that, that photograph out and looked at it again. She was, a, she was a beautiful woman, my wife. Aye, she was right. Anyway, I come home, didn't I? That was that. But it must have been near enough a year later, you know. Right out of the blue, I got an airmail letter, you know. And 
I opened it up, you know, and there's just a one, this one paragraph in the middle there, and it said... forgot all about that. I've shagged South Africa. That's fucking miles away. Miles further than Canada anyway. Get it right up, please. South Africa. I win. What's the matter with you? Just about fucking pissed myself there, Winston. Hi. Aye, uh, South Africa, eh? <laughs> well, well done, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Looks as if you won the game, eh? Aye, <coughs> just that I came in here. <laughs> eh? <Hey, Ray. coughs> You never hear anybody getting the crabs anywhere, do you know? No, you do not, Winston, you do not, no. It's all your herpes complex and your AIDS viruses now. Uh, you can't go shagging about now. No, no, no. Yeah. I mean, Christ, see when, I, see when I think about the amount of women that I was hanging out to, you know? I mean, if they things had been out in their days, you know, I'd be dead and buried. I really fucking... Aye, right, but it dropped off years ago. Still, we don't need to worry about all these things now. I can't mind the last time I was on the bones. <laughs> uh, uh. Pissing's really all it's good for now. <laughs> Even that's became a bit of a fucking chore. Isn't it? Yeah. Right. You see, I'm not sure I'd know uh, what to do with a woman nowadays anyway, mm. you know. All right, I'll tell you for why that is, you see, Winston. See, your modern women got all the demands, you know. I've seen it on the telly, you know. They've got their, uh, what do you cry it now? Oh, aye, aye. Orgasms. <laughs> and some other wee thing, I know. Oh, aye, aye. The clitoris. <laughs> That's to be attended to, I know. Go, you clown, ye. Have I always had the clitoris? <laughs> Do you mean they've always had it? It's a new thing. They're no long out. <laughs> I'm telling you. They've always had them. Oh, woman. Aye, well. I bet I didn't have one. She would have fucking told me. <laughs> Will you never fucking word with yourself? Of course she had one. Hear you. How would you know if my Betty had a clitoris? I'm fucking telling you she didn't. Well, I'm fucking telling you that Why she didn't. Why don't you fucking zip it? My Jean didn't have one either. <laughs> fucking Marcus Welby, the doctor, right? Eh? The doctor's got there sitting there, fucking mouthing off. I'm sorry I fucking spoke, I really am. No, aye, you're right. Uh, they only gave them away in the 80s, didn't they? <laughs> For nothing like, uh, uh, on the National Health, you just, you just, you, you went up there and uh, you got your clitoris and uh, <laughs> you're way up the road where it wrapped up in a fucking towel. <laughs> I'll tell you something. I'm glad that's all by me now. Aye, aye. You're better off without sex, Jack, you know. That's how come we're living so long. That's what I'm saying. I think you do live longer if you go without your Nat King. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I, I don't think, I honestly don't think you become a complete man until you're past all the impulses. I mean, I like women, don't, don't get me wrong, but uh, they warp your fucking mind trying mm. to get your hole off. <laughs> Aye. See, once you're past all the impulses, it leaves a, it leaves a mind clear to focus on the on the more important things. Here, here. Uh, uh, like what? <laughs> no getting your hole. <laughs> you fucking listen to me, you two, right? 
There is not a single day goes by where I don't think about getting my hole. So don't come that crap. I mean, are you trying to tell me that if, 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 if Carol Vorderman walked in here right now, eh? <laughs> Fucking bazoomas out. Hey, she dropped her cakes right there at your feet, and you'd be like that. Hey, oh, no, thank you, Carol, darling. Uh, I don't want none of that no more. Uh, I'm a complete man now, as <laughs> hey? oh, it? Fuck? You'd have me trampled flat trying to get to it. Too fucking right. Uh. <laughs> Hello there, Carol, sweetheart. Yes, uh, get your. Uh, oh, aye, your clitoris out. <laughs> Aye. No, no, guys, I'm coming right up for it. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. it. I'll give you that. And, uh, when you finish there, Carol Hen, go and have a wee look at my gas bill. Things aren't they adding up right now. She's good at her sums. Oh, aye, aye. That's a good one. Yeah, well, that's, that's good. <laughs> Carol Hardman, eh? eh? Oh, what oh, a honey. Aye. Here, and I tell you what, though, right? You two are laughing there, right, you know, but. There's, there's still time for us to get our hole yet, you know. Who? Anybody you want. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about now? The millennium. That's when it's going to happen, the millennium. What has that got to do with getting your hole? Yeah, well, it'll be a big party, won't it? You know, I mean, this'll be, this'll be the biggest celebration we've ever seen. What, bigger than a garden festival? <laughs> you think about this for a minute, right? This is the millennium we're talking about here, right? Now, that's only happened the once since we started counting. Aye, but what's that got to do with getting your hole? Oh. Everybody will be singing and dancing, won't they? You know, they'll be, be shouting and bawling and, all, and, 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 and shagging on every street corner. I guarantee it. And up here banging your door, wanting their hole off of us. <laughs> no. No, well, we'll probably have to get down the stair for it, you know. <laughs> Look, it's just going to be exactly the same as any other new year. I'll be, I'll be in my bed by half past ten with an egg in a pot for the morrow morning. That'll be it. Well, hold on here, Jack. Maybe Winston's got a point, you know. Eh? Aye, well, the club will have something arranged, you know. Nice wee sausage roll or a cup of beer. A wee bit of jigging. Eh? Aye, a wee singer. Oh, well, that'd be good, huh? Eh? Don't know about your hole, though, Winston. Yeah. <laughs> yep, don't think so. My Christ, you two fairly think big, don't you, eh? <laughs> the year 2000, you're in your bed and you're painting the town red with a sausage roll and a cup. What a fucking party that'll be! <laughs> Hear you? Who's to say we're even going to be here for the millennium, eh? We might all be dead already. Aye, aye, Jack, that's a good point. Aye, we'd be lucky to last the bloody millennium, you know. Aye. No point in making big, grandiose plans, eh? Well, that's just dandy, that, eh? Eh? The, fuck the millennium, cos we'll be dead. <laughs> <laughs> you can stick that right up your ass. I'm not sitting here with you two counting the minutes you can Come get it. Calm down now. Oh, fuck it. I'm not going to sit here we you two waiting to find out if I'm here for the millennium or no. I want it now. I want it right fucking now. I'm going to phone my brother George. Well, you're not using my phone. <laughs> I'm going to phone him the night. I'm going to Nevada. No, oh, fuck Nevada. Me. Aye, that's fucking, fucking right. Goes on about it. Nevada. Should have went bloody years ago, eh? Sitting here with you two miserable bastards. Can he burn a bar in the fire? You, fear to go outside for mutant fucking wanes. You're a fucking grip of yourself, Nevada. Aye, that's right. Well, George lives like a king out there, eh? Good health and a perfect tan. I tell you, I want some of that. I'm gone. And if you'd any sense, you'd fucking come with me, I know. There you are. You're not, you're not making any sense at all, Winston. Same, we should just drop everything and toddle off to the States. Mind you, Victor. That'd be good, wouldn't it? A fortnight in the old States, eh? Fortnight, fuck all. A month, eh? Six weeks. If it's pish, we'll come back. If no, we'll stay a wee bit longer, eh? I see, you're not thinking straight. What about the pension, eh? No, no, that's all sorted for you. I've seen that on the telly. You just 
fill out a form. Is that right? <laughs> I, and I tell you another thing, your pension goes a lot further out there. I hope I've done that. Though. I'm gone. You see if I don't, I'm gone. I'll come with you. Good. Aye, I could do uh, I could go up and visit your Fiona. That's just up the road, isn't it? <laughs> well, that's what we were saying earlier on. We've all got the money. There's nothing holding us back. For going, we could all go together. Uh, I've got my John Jack. I can't I just piss off on a whim, you know? Oh. <coughs> your John couldn't give a monkeys for you, pal. He could emigrate to the fucking Yemen and he wouldn't be up in there doing <laughs> That is out of order. Well, the truth hurts, didn't it? I'm going. Oh, I'm going, eh? Are you going? I am gone. <laughs> I'm going to go. Aye. I'm going to America. Aye. Come on, Victor. Mm. Come away, is he? Aye. You've got the money. Come on, fuck staying here. Come oh, on. No. Who's going? Send us a postcard or something. Wait a minute here, it's a fucking trump of a lifetime he's talking about. Come on! You know, I'm past all that, Jack. Victor, when was the last time you were away a good holiday? Mm. New York in 1971. You have a good time? Aye, cracking. Well, there you are, you're due another one, aren't you? Come on. Aye, but Spain's a lot different from America, you know, Jack. <coughs> Me. Ten hours and you're there. Aye. Queued up longer at the post office, get a grip. <laughs> here, here we could book the flights anew. Who is it that's got teletext? Um, old Tam's got teletext. Aye, come on, we'll date the new. Mm -hmm. Come on. <coughs> Victor, you're not thinking straight here. We could go and eat bother, we've got the money. You and me and him, well. You and me and him, you know. <laughs> well, you've, you've got your Fiona and he's got his brother, you know. My, my place is here, Jack. That's a bit of a big trip. You and me and him. You and me and old boys and him, you know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Where you go? Here's all. I could go and eat bother. Eh? Come on. Bloody America. <sighs> Silly bastards. Right, Victor. Dear Jack. Go and go. You're an old man. Hold up there, man. Scotland Yard heaved a sigh of relief today when it was discovered that a hamster was behind an enormous security alert at Lloyds Bank. <laughs> Apparently, Fluffy the hamster had escaped from his... Fuck's sake. <laughs> Crazy bastards. Now. <laughs> 